Oh, hello, look at this. We're leveling up. We're getting new chairs. We're getting rocket. What? What? Okay, just go to my shows. How are you? I love you. I hope you're well. Eat right. Good luck. I love, Jesus, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> All right, shows. Plug shows. All right, you know what time it is. Uh, Batavia, Illinois, September 6th. Cleveland, Ohio, September 7th. Toronto just added. Toronto, Canada, September 8 and 9. Go to my website, craigconit.com. Lots of tour dates. I'm always in Los Angeles. That's my home base. People are like, when are you doing L.A.? Like on a Tuesday. What? Anyways, today's <laughs> guest is absolutely hilarious. Jordan Jensen. She's my homie. I fucking love her. I did JFL with her. And she's so funny. She's blowing up. And, and yeah, we, we, we say some stuff. That's for sure. We got to bleep some words in there. <laughs> Anyways, I love you all. Tune in right now. Check out my homie. Yeah. I'm lonely, Jordan. Are we rolling? Yes. Yeah, we're rolling. That's how we start. We're getting married. Hey, liquor. So I get to love her. Oh, my. Is that too far? Yeah, you know, liquor. Out the <laughs> gate. Quit your goddamn mic, you fucking. Oh, you're right. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Look at this guy. That's boo-boo. Make yourself at home. That's boo. Holy shit. This cat is a dog. I love to see it. How many animals you got? I have none because I live in New York and I kill everything that I own. You could get a cat. You don't have, have to walk I, I live with a guy who's allergic. Well, fucking. Move out? Yeah. I know. Here's the problem. I don't even. Whoa. That one looks That's like Mister. a wild Mr. Mr. Hi, Mr. Come here. Whoa. That cat has like a clay you live. Face. You live with. Ian? I don't know who I you live with. I live with, um, no, I'd rather die. I live with, um, <laughs> oh, he has a cat who's my child. He looks like a cat guy. Oh, yeah. I knew I liked him for a reason. Samson hey, is. Hey, Ian, come pet my pussies. <laughs> Look I have at four. him. Come I have back f- here. I love them. I'll pet you. He's not going to pet you. Yes, I will. Christopher. I'm sorry. Now the cat's name is Christopher. <laughs> okay, for the podcast listeners, I was introducing Jordan to Christopher Lund, my podcast producer, and uh, she was petting Boo, and she's like, hi, Christopher, and there's the bit. I leaned down to pet the cat, and he goes, this is Christopher, because Christopher was ent- it was entering, so I, it by, locked in my brain. By this me. chubby black cat is just like, yeah, I'm Christopher. Ooh, everybody thought she was pregnant Look forever. Look at that. She likes it right here. I wow. let her go back. Go back over she, there. I, I scratched her there, and she thumped her foot a little bit. Yeah, I think my life would be a lot better if I moved out and got They're animals. the best antidepressant known to man. It, yeah, it, it it eliminates a lot of it. They just purr on you, and you're like, "I'm fine." It's just unconditional. Yeah, I'm fine now. I was talking to somebody at that mothership club who her job is she goes to people's houses and puts down their animals for like end of life care. Ooh, and I was like, dark. that's probably harder than being a hospice nurse. Yeah, like people parting with their pets. Because like humans, you're like, "What'd you do?" Right. You and, know. Yeah. You did like, something, Nana. Look at that. No human does that. Yeah, nobody does no that. Nana never lifts her neck up for me to out? scratch it. I, mean, I was that's like, epic. ew, skin tags. Yeah. <laughs> and they have a whole world of being racist and slipping things in at the end. Yeah. Man, that's great. Look at that face. Oh, yeah. But the older I get, the more attached to animals I also... I mean, it's crazy. I'll, like, save cockroaches now. Oh, I, I don't know. know about that. I, know. I, I, I do agree with you. I save most everything. Uh, I have my limits with cockroaches, though. But even spiders that I'm petrified of, I used to just smash out of fear. I try to, you know, vacuum them, cup them, or put them outside. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I feel guilty. I killed one of those big mosquitoes that doesn't bite you, but the bad guys, that or they look bad, but they're nice guys. Those big ones, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I had to kill it. I was like, I'm not going to be able to sleep with you in here. I'm sorry, you got to go. Yeah, I'll kill a mosquito. It's like, I don't Mosquitoes want... Mosquitoes have to die. I but... don't want it. You know what I mean? I don't want malaria. Look at your little <laughs> opal ass eyes. Look at you. Yeah, yeah get over here. Oh, That's you got it. Go. Good yes. job. Man. My mom has like a problem where the, all these animals flock to her and she hates it. Like baby animals. That's and, like, hilarious. Her, yeah, it's like her house is like the jungle book. It's crazy. And the, she hates it though. I mean, it's a h- huge issue. Like, I'll be talking to her on the phone, and she's like, "There's a baby raccoon in the kitchen," and I'm like, "What is going on?" She's like, "I don't know." One time we were in the backyard, and she just three little baby skunks walked by her, and I came out, and she was like, "There's baby skunks over there," and I was like, "What are she's you?" She's Doctor Doolittle. It's really weird. If Doctor <laughs> Doolittle is had Dr. like a Doolittle. shotgun, yeah. I always <laughs> knew you had secret talents. It's what's really my crazy. cat saying? What's he, she saying? 
I, What's Christopher saying? Yeah, that's your cat. Your cat is just that's saying that. That's podcast over. producer. <laughs> also, that it's a girl is hilarious. Boo, boo. Okay, okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. She has a sensitive spine. Sensitive spine or sensitive butt? Spine. Really? But a whole thing. It's all down the middle. You're fine. She's but gentle's great. good. If you go in there, she'll go. Arr! She spazzes. Oh. It might even cause a little fucking. Oh, good. Yeah, one time I scratched her spine too hard and it looked like a seizure, and I got so scared. Oh, I shoved it might a, be she a sardine little... down her throat to cheer her up. <laughs> Are you feeding her? Maybe feeding her too a little too much. How dare you! I know you. people get so weird about the cats being fat. Yeah, of thing. course, I'm feeding them too much. How do you think they got fat? How it's come, America. Why it's is that a do. thing? I will see somebody with a huge cat, and I'm like, oh, your cat's a little chubby, and they're like, you need to get out of my house, right? Like, yeah, what? Yeah. What is that? Don't you? You could pick me apart, but don't you dare! Yeah, it's a don't weird you thing. Dare. Meanwhile, if you have a fat kid, I mean, I was super fat as a little kid, super fat, and people would be like, your kid's fat. My mom be like, yeah. What yeah. do you, you have eyes? Yeah, feed nice. your Cheetos. Yeah, Mind your fucking you. business. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't know where she gets the food. She gets the puffy arms from the cheesy puffs. She gets the cheesy puffs. Cheesy puff arms. The cheesy puff arms. I'll tell you where they got the food. Stealing it from from Lunchables from the grocery store. You steal Lunchables? As a kid, if you just walk in and walk out with a little I, blonde girl. Like, I used to I steal all sorts of shit until I got caught. And then I got better at it. I went to jail for it, and it still took about 10 years for me to stop. Yeah, you just grow up, and you're like, oh, that's bad. It's and, just... like, once you start being a comedian, you're like, I don't want this. I don't want a Winona Ryder this. Just have... Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I forgot about her. Yeah, but during a the pandemic with the masks. A millionaire. Well, Stealing it's Stealing minks. I, I don't know, know if it was ours was, I mean, I don't know about you. I'm speaking for you. But mine was more like, I, I don't got no money. <laughs> mine was an addiction. Mine was like, I can't. It, I will not eat correctly if I have to pay this much money for mm. kale. Like I just won't. That's fucked. <laughs> up. I guess you're right. It was it was paired with adrenaline. Adrenaline, it yeah. Was lack of resources and ooh, I get a little high when I put this burrito down my pan. Yeah, and it <laughs> tastes better when it's free. You guys ever have a bean and cheese warm up by your bean and oh, cheese? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beans on beans. Ooh, I got beans on my balls, ladies. What's up? I would. I just went to your place of origin trader joe's and boy howdy every time i shop there something's rotten that i get is it aldi's is it paired with aldi's is it a racket uh, aldi's bottom up after the fact that was more recent times would you say about five years ago aldi's came in or some shit no like it's been like 15 or 20 oh wow yeah it's look aldi's at this. i blame aldi's this is epic this cat is coming look at that face oh that's a cute little <laughs> holy cat. Crap. oh that's so cute she's getting it it's because oh, of his collars boo is so precious yeah, um, but no, Trader but yes, Joe's, everything's every there, something, something. You really got to check your fucking produce. I mean, look who worked there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was a Nazi about produce. That sounds bad these days. But you know what I mean? Like, you saw me. I'd yell at managers, who these the fuck days. stalked this? Who the fuck? <laughs> these yeah. days, right? When was it ever good? <laughs> yeah, these days with all the <laughs> Nazis like, oh, no, running around. I right? listen to Kanye too much. I did get in trouble on your show. It's not your show, but it's your city. It, the store... I said something about Jews, and this woman in the front row got really upset. And she's like, "We have a billboard right now that says." Jews Maybe you were a comedian. Away. You were joking. I know, I know. And I was and surrounded by Jews. Also, I mean, mm -hmm. I, like everybody on the show was Jewish. Just be like, I'm Jewish. I said I'm Jewish, and then I had my OCD kicked in. I was like, I'm not Jewish. I'm not Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Everyone yeah. gets offended. What did you say? Was it was it funny or bad or was it you know the rule? Was it more offensive than funny? I think it or was. I don't so. think it was even funny. If, I mean, I don't think it was even offensive. I know. <laughs> I don't think it was even. I think it was like I said Jews. Like I was like, maybe I was like he's a. I don't know what. Nowadays I said. it's I sad. Said like so much. you can't. It's just. It's hard to talk about anything if you're not that. You're like motherfucker. I'm not preaching hate here. It's jokes. Except I just went to Austin, Texas. It's a little different there. It's what a little different. is going on? <laughs> you can feel the hate. <laughs> It is, I, when I was there like a few years ago, I, not a few years ago, like a long time ago, even before comedy, it was like, you know, uh, natural food trucks and just white people swarming in to start co-ops. And this time I went and it looked like the place was run down and every comedian was like, I wish I could beat up gay people. And people were just like, ah! and I was like, okay, I consider myself an edgy person. It's, and this is scary. What yeah. is that? I don't is know. Is that Hinchcliffe and Rogan? It must be. It's absolutely Hinchcliffe, not Rogan. Really? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, right. It's no, not yeah. Rogan. We would love to do your show. 
<laughs> um, um, it's no, no, that, uh, I don't know what it is. It's just a, uh, they take freedom and they run with it in the wrong direction. You know, it's yeah, like, I'm free to say that. And like, no, that's just fucking awful. I love freedom too, bro. Yeah. But this is weird. Like we say it to poke fun and to be funny. They say it to be real. And that's when I get scared. I'm like, hey, hey, hey guys, this isn't. There's know? a difference between having like a chunk. I mean, this was like, it, there's one thing between like saying something that's like, oh, this just came to my mind and it's subversive. But it's a totally different thing to be like, here's my chunk on why gay people are whack. And it's like, that's my five minute. Like in your notebook, it's like, yeah. bracket it off. I have five minutes on why gay people are bad. And you're like, I don't and know. And who doesn't want to make fun of some Fruit Loops? But yeah. there's a way to do it. There's a way to do it. <laughs> there is always a way to do it. <laughs> you, I make fun of everything. It's fun. You got to make fun of everything. It is so fun. But yeah, it was really even. I mean, I say fucked up shit all the time about everybody, but I was I was watching and like clutching my pearls and was like, my goodness. Yeah, because they laugh differently. Like when you yeah. when you say it, what's funny is something you could say that is offensive in Portland, where you're like pussies, then gets cheered on in the wrong way in other markets, where you're like, oh god, <laughs> it's supposed to be in between here. What yeah. is happening? I know. What? What? I'm joking. Y'all aren't. <laughs> you know. It it's made me want to cut out all of the edge. Like it was actually good for me to do Austin because I've been going in that direction so much lately with like trans stuff and. And like woke stuff, I've just been I've been shitting on it in New York a lot. And then it was good for me to go to Austin and be like, oh, it is now almost hack to like have your whole set be all about like you know just like you do, you do it differently though. I mean, it's a little there's like the Andrew Schultz style, which is like guy who is super playful when he does jokes and then slips into this edgy thing. That's fine to yeah. me. But this was like just the edge part, and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta like I gotta I gotta yeah. go back and put in more like playfulness and yeah, less yeah. like this is why this is bad because i'm depressed and this is a good thing to take it out on it's like who the fuck why do i care you know what i mean why the fuck what the am fuck? i bitching about this i had questions for you but they're all out the window now i'm fried your city has killed me <laughs> i don't sleep in the city how do you think i've been doing my whole life fried it's crazy did i say that sentence right how do you think I've been doing my whole life? <laughs> da, 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 I'll give you the answer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we come in the same conclusion. I don't know if the words made sense getting there. No. But this is what my life's like. <laughs> <laughs> People think it's an act. I have to say, deposit the check, deposit the check, deposit the check. Walk in to deposit the check, and then I get to the phone. What am I doing here? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bad. Fuck. And I'm trying to get off of Adderall, so my ADHD is through the roof. Oh, yeah, you got to get off that shit. It's a horrible drug. I know you probably don't know this. It's meth. It is meth. It's yeah. fucking meth. It is. It's called. I get it. Meth. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's. I did meth. The real one. <laughs> and the Adderall. Wow. And all the things. They're all lovely, but they're fucking narcotta. Yeah. It's yeah, crazy. it's crazy. They give it to kids, and it you get it's so insane. angry when it goes away. That's the oh, any drug yeah. that I get angry when it goes away. You can't do it. I mean, you can't. When I'm like, I get angry quitting weed, let alone narcotics. It's just amplified by fucking ten or more. Yeah, you know, twenty, fifty. You're just like, you know. But it's crazy the depre the how spastic my brain is without it and how you don't I'm, need it we'll get it done yeah, lion's gotta, mane microdosing lion's natural mane shit really helps. of the earth not I mean you know who do, I, I literally I was about to shit on amphetamines and I went but like you know maybe sometimes no yeah. it's bad <laughs> it's so bad but I I truly understand what is did you do you get when did you you were when we did JFL together in twenty nineteen twenty nineteen yeah. You were s sober. A hundred percent. I started smoking weed one year after the pandemic, 2021. Okay. Not I, during the pandemic. It, well, it, like I made it through one year of it and then I broke. Mm. And I, I, I started touring. I did 59 cities my first year. Jesus. And I, and I, and I, I broke real bad, you know, it, yeah. I didn't know what I was doing and it was too mm. much. And now? I'm doing 51 cities. I'm taking a break. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, yeah. but uh, 
I now know how to function. I now know how to operate. I have my little systems. You figure shit out. You know, you function better. Oh, so you were touring so much that you were like, I'm going to use weed to deal with yeah. the anxiety. It, yeah, I'm doing that, I feel like. It was, with... a couple, it was a couple of dark shit. It was a couple of deaths, like back to back, boom, boom. The world shut down. I'm launching up. Weird feelings. The world's on fire. I'm going this way. And then, uh, you know, deaths and, and, and I just hit it and I went, ah... And it made me feel better, and it was a beautiful medicine that did save me. And then I'm a fiend and an addict, and then I started abusing it, and then it went from a solution to I need this to function. Yeah. And that's when I hate it. I know weed's fine. And my fan base, they, they talk shit back and forth. Like, it's fine, but th- like that's my whole point. It's fine if you just, if it's, you're not a fucking fiend, you know? Yeah. It changes when you do it all day, every day. And then you're always chasing that fucking high. And then you got to get concentrates, edibles, waxes, tinctures. Yeah, to deal with the tolerance. And then I'm like, I might as well do speed. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm kidding. Totally, I, did, I didn't get there, but it can. Did you, are you off it now? Come on. I'm working my way again. I went off of it for like 45 days. I think I lasted. And now I'm I've been doing ayahuasca and I and 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 it comes to you. It's like give this shit up. It's holding you back, bro. Ah, uh, yeah. And I'm literally giving my weed away to my dad. And I was gonna give you that weed right there if you need any. What is that? It's uh, flower. Yeah, good. Kush. I am the most anti weed girl. Oh, that's good. Isn't that crazy? You don't need it because I I'm convinced that it killed my father. Basically, I mean he smoked eleven joints a day, and he like. I don't know. I, people say it's not addictive, but it's so addictive. I think it might be one of the most. <laughs> it's so addictive. The withdrawals aren't. That's why it's addictive. They're not as crazy as real drugs in my. But it is so addictive. I am struggling so hard to get off of a sweet little flower, and I want to quit. But I'm like, you know, just one more. Yeah. <laughs> and just one more puff, ain't nobody gonna know. Yeah, it's you know, crazy. You know, I'm honest with that shit. Anyways, I can't lie. That's I why I'm like, either. hey, I'm sober from alcohol and narcotics, but I smoke like a chimney. You know, I can't. Yeah. I don't want to. It's hard. I mean, it's also just the altered state is like, I, w- I was watching a video of a panda and he was. Did you want to go dark? Did you want to finish the story about Papa or no? We don't oh, have yeah. to. Well, he just, do- he just was smoking so much weed. You would watch him stop and he would start to get a little like weird and then he would smoke and then he'd smoke more and like mellow out. And we were like the same person. He's very like all over the place and manic and then depressed and then manic. And I have big ideas, but now I can't do them. So I'll smoke weed and then I'll chisel away at something. And um, and I think what happened was he was in a lot of pain, felt really bad, but he was smoking so much that he just was like ignoring the pain and he just like died in his sleep. Mm. But I think if he hadn't been smoking weed, he would have been like- Paid oh, attention yeah, to the symptoms. Because totally. you know that. You yeah. know when you smoke weed and you're just like- all of a sudden, look why do you think like, I smoke it? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> to check the fuck out and not be in here. You yeah, know? like oh, I'm high, but then you just go right back there. It lasts for once you like in the beginning. It was good. That's what I mean. That's the struggle I have because it really did save me. It was a medicine, but then it fucking switches, and then I need it every fifteen minutes. Yeah, you know, it's I'm crazy. like I don't feel high anymore. Mushrooms like are the only drug that I'll do, and they kind of besides Prozac, but they like which I do think is a drug. But they um they do uh tell you they do stop you they're like you you're you don't want any more of this yeah you know oh, what I yeah. mean like even if you microdose four days in a row on the fifth day you're like I I, why this. am I crying <laughs> yeah yeah totally but weed is one of those things where it just alters you enough that it like you're, you're functioning you're functioning and then you have the sweet spot where you hit it and you're like I have the right perspective right now I have the correct perspective and you're always on life. trying to find that. yeah yeah but yeah, it's a vicious cycle no but uh yeah I'm I'm I'm, I have hard feelings against the head meds. They took out a few homies of mine, switching pills and shit. You know? Really? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a Band-Aid for a fucking sword wound. Yeah, I said sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I vacillate. I'll go into depression, and then I'm like, what am I doing off Prozac? I shouldn't be off it. I'm so depressed. And then I take Prozac, and I'm like floating, and I'm like, this is also not good. And then I... I'm always trying to like find the right. You just need some time in the jungle. You gotta go see a shaman. Yeah. You wanna yeah. do ayahuasca? Yeah. I'll take you. Well, how, what do you I'm do? I'm going this weekend. Really? Cancel how your often shows. do you go? Stop eating pork. I'm not eating pork. Good. It's You're the, ready. It's the devil's. Yeah. It's, it's so the devil's good. meat. It's it is so the devil's good. meat. Yeah. 
The devil's the devil always tastes the best. Yeah. <laughs> it's what so the fuck, good. devil? Get out of here. <laughs> I don't want your pork. Oh, I love bacon. It's so good. What the fuck is in that shit? It's so I dirty. Don't know. They're just like, just don't eat pork. You will vomit so <gasps> much. Is that true? They mm-hmm. say that? Because it's a, it's a cleanser. It, it gets rid of heavy metals, poisons, all sorts of shit. Microplastics, pork. Did you vomit when you take What happens Only when you two take times. It? I only puked two times out of uh, eight sessions. That's a lot of sessions. I know. How I'm many? an addict. What do you want? How many are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to do <laughs> I'm one? going for nine and ten. Stop being a pussy. Okay. You're the one on okay. speed, bitch. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one on fucking Prozac and Speed is saying take it easy with yeah. God's syrup. Don't I'm a, I'm getting off Adderall. I'm I'm off of it. I just take it occasionally when I have to focus. And it is it was the hardest thing to get off of besides the vape, which I'm still not off. But the Adderall is like hypnotist hell with the smoking. Did you did you smoke? Never nicotine, just weed like a chimney. Yeah, I want to do hypnotism for. L- like relationships and for that's what i did it for really yeah i saw the same hypnotist that ron white went to basically ron white i've said it so many times but i don't care go do what ron white did ron white saw a hypnotist to get sober and then did ayahuasca to heal and i saw the same hypnotist and i went and did ayahuasca holy shit and i'm fucking hooked but it's not like that it's it's like what happens it's just it, it, it's too hard to explain, and I'm tired of doing it. You touch. Yeah. Th- Have you watched YouTube videos of people dying and like ER doctors say they say this? Why did you bring me back? Why did you bring me oh, back? Have yeah. you heard of that? Like, but like with yeah. all people in France and Iraq, here, everywhere, all walks of life, all professions, anybody that go- dies and they go clear and get brought back. And the reoccurring theme is why did you bring me back? It's because they touched the pool of love or eternal light or whatever the fuck you want to talk i hate that you said pool of love and i immediately imagined like dipping my fingers in somebody's semen immediately as soon as you said that and i was like i need i need to change my life i need to become a different person (laughs) that's a wild saturday night no (laughs) the pool of love and i was like "Ooh, don't touch Uh, that come you touch it you you tap into the the consciousness and then you you, it's it's trip is it astral project scary are you frightened? It can be, but no, it's choose your own adventure. If you want to go heal and deal with bad stuff, you can. And if you want to go to love and light, you can. It's very weird like that. Is it? Have you ever gone to heal? Oh, yeah. Oh, Is you it think scary? I keep going back? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, it's yeah. It's dark and... You vomit maggots <gasps> and shit. Yeah. I mean, spirit... It, yes. Visually. You, you look in the bucket and it's puke. But while it's happening, you, you, you're fighting the devil and fucking loctus is flying out of your mouth did i say that one right god you damn it <laughs> locusts. sword locusts whatever dude wait what you think did you I'm really fucking... see like batman style like a like a movie like really straight up yeah no uh um it's more not... energy yes more energy i got you uh but it's real in that moment and you do you feel a transform transform 100 really wow yeah 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 but then you come back to the natural world and you get all dirty again. That's why I keep going back. I need to, I need to dip my fingers in God's semen one more time. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I got to go like this with my fingers and check We're the really ruining this for some people. <laughs> yes. No, it's a beautiful natural medicine that's been in the jungle for thousands of years. It's completely safe. Don't believe Western media and medicine. They're fucking pussy. They just want you to take theirs with side effects and they get the money. I know. I realized Prozac was a bad drug when I stopped taking it for a couple days and I went like this. I was talking to my friend Nellie and I was like, oh, something just happened to my brain. And she was like, what was it? And I was like, I don't know, but it's like it's yawning and getting electrocuted. And she was like. The lightning bolts. Yeah. She was like, that's brain zaps from Prozac. And I was like, this is not a good drug. No. (laughs) This is not good. No. Any drug that makes you get a lightning bolt in your skull, <laughs> I'm just going to say that's a bad Or you're like, gee, 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 gee. it's like that. Ah. My favorite YouTube video is a, it's an old video of this woman, of a news anchor. And he's like, well, now we're going to cut to, you know, whatever her name is, Jamie in the hospital. She got struck by lightning and she's recovering now. And the camera switches to her and the tape glitches. And she's like, gee, 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 gee. and it goes back to him and he goes, well, and that video of her going, gee, 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 that is a brain zap. That's the only way I can describe it is that video when she's like. Did she die? 
No, she was totally fine. She wasn't doing that. The video was oh, being. Yeah. It's like the. It was like one of the first big YouTube videos, but the videotape is being fucked up. What and causes like, brain zaps? Because I used to get them all the time, and now I don't. I don't. Maybe it was the real drugs. What I was just realized my brain zaps are gone. I used to get them a lot, and it used to scare the fuck out of me. And I didn't bring them up because I thought I was the only one, and I didn't want everyone to know. Were you on <laughs> antidepressants? No, but maybe like lots of pills for funsies. Oh yeah, anything that oxycotton, Xannies, oh. and all that jazz. I know. Like I was addicted Rin Rin. to. I was in a Coke Xanax loop for like a year. Mine was Coke oxycotton. Mm. It's so. Look at look at look at. Mm. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Changes things a bit, doesn't people it? People think that I have a missing tooth here. It's just a small tooth. It's just a deep tooth. Yeah. Of people, I smile and people are like, oh, she's has no. It's drugs. there. Mine's yeah. not. Yours is not. What is that? Who took that? Which drug? The dentist. The um, dentist took it right out. She kept it. I didn't get. I want it back. I want my tooth fairy money. You do money. have the best smile in comedy. I always say. I I uh, who took that? Sugar and narcotics. I don't know. Long bad time. Oh right, where you do drugs and the only thing you want to eat is sugar. I know about that. Yeah, what is up with that too? And also the drugs eat away at your gums if you're rubbing cocaine in them and shit. And it's like it's like, and then you want sugar, and then you like. That's what the devil, you know, is in the <laughs> sugar. It tastes so good. It's so good. It's so good. Especially that bleach sugar, that extra devil. Oh, the double down on the devil sugar. Gummy bears, that Ooh, Delta Give sky. me that bleach sugar. You ever have those gummy bears on Delta flights? The fuck? Yes, Comfort <laughs> Plus. Comfort, Not in the back. Plus. First class Comfort Plus only. Yep. That's what they got me. Every time. I spend 200 extra dollars for the gummies. Me too. <laughs> me too. I go up there if I'm not in Comfy Plus and I say, Give me a gummy. Guys, give me the gummies. Guys, I'm, ha- I'm missing a tooth right here. Give me give a gummy. Me I'm having Look a hard life. I need the gummies. Or else I'll go back to the math. <laughs> give me the gummies. You used to do construction. <laughs> you were a foreman, right? If I recall correctly. I learned I that at JFL. Contractor. Contractor. I was like, you were up in the system. Yeah. I used to swing a hammer. I lasted four months, I think. I was a pussy boy. You have Mexican in you. Mm hmm. You got to swing. I'm a halfie. I know. I had to do it. I quit because I went, of this, Mexicans. I, went, I swung it. I'm like, I'm actually white. I got to go. <laughs> yeah. It's. It is, I am never, people are like, well, you, do you still do carpentry and like build? I, if you look at my bedroom, there is not one thing that has been built. It is you all do shelves. It hobby? Fuck no. It's like, it's, uh, it, it's like somebody being like, you don't, you don't, you're not an ESL teacher. You don't go to other countries and teach. I'm like, it's, I did it because I had to. Mm. And it's not, it, if I lived upstate and I had to build a horse or a horse, a barn for my horse and I had big open fields and was like. That's how I would want to yeah. build. Like I got thrown in the fire. So I was in the carpenter's union, but I was a brand new booty wow. with no uh, skills whatsoever. And we we're doing a like a 18, 20 story luxury high rise in Marina Del Rey. And I got thrown in on the middle of it, but I had no skills. Basic bear. I know how to do basic shit, but they threw me with the laborers. Because yeah. they're like, he doesn't know how to do this shit. They're grunt. doing complex buildings. So I went down and dug holes and stripped nails and poured concrete. Like all the awful shit. That's they, the, that's. I went down. That sounds, but it's my people. I went down with the Mexicans. They were all Latino. They're from San Pedro, Harbor City. Well, he's actually from my family's area where I'm from. And uh, I would carpool with these fools and they're fucking funny, dude. Just, But they were, I, I hung with the laborers union and that shit was brutal yeah like getting out of bed like 80 year old man oh ah, yeah ah, ah. but i, I was the ripped masonry, it was the only the time i was ripped. The, the best you did yeah I, my dad was a mason did so i learned jacked, mason though? first because yeah, that was the only time i was like okay craig yeah what the <laughs> fuck no, yeah. I, I felt good with my shirt off it's crazy it digging holes outside i would i built fences when i first moved to brooklyn that was like my, I just built one fence and then it passed throughout the neighbors. And just digging holes, you get so You're jacked. Back. Oh, yeah, that too. I, yeah, I had like muscles and abs yeah. and shit. And I ate twice as much as I do now or ever because yeah. of just, you. Ha- I couldn't believe the intake. I would eat the biggest lunch ever. I would basically eat like a regular lunch for snack, a big ass lunch, and then like a little half sandwich here. Then come home and eat like two dinners. Yeah. I barely can get through one now. Yeah. But like, you know. It's crazy. I eat once it's a day. So fun. I'm a tiny guy. You eat once a day? That's I don't it, eat LA. That much. Yesterday I got, I was eating LA food and I got to the end of the day and I was like, I have the worst headache ever. And I was like, 
I need like food. And I went and I was like, Jake, I'm going to my Airbnb. And I made like a giant thing of oatmeal and was just like, Jesus Christ, this place. I mean, everywhere I went, they were like, here's the salad. And I was like, finally, this has feta and protein. I get it. And I'm like, this is $17. I need re- woman. And everybody looks amazing. But I'm like, I have to be nice to people. I'm going to need a <laughs> New York meal. Give me a bean burrito. Yeah, dude. You get I'm, the tacos here. What are you no, doing? No, I don't want a taco. Tacos even are, that's finger food. I need like a meal with some chicken. Girl, they're a dollar. Get 10 of them. Nah, I hate tacos <laughs> because I worked at Moss Tacos in Nashville. You ever work at a place that you're like, hey, motherfucker, Los Angeles tacos ain't really? the same as Nashville fucking they're tacos. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Oh, okay. I don't know <laughs> what the appeal the way. of tacos are. I will say. We'll get a fucking burrito then. No, you got to tell me where the best tacos are and then see if I like tacos. That's what I'm going to do. There's a million spots. Uh, Over in that, Central LA is where I am. Centralia? I'll have to. Is it Central LA or is it Centralia? I've been calling it Centralia. That's it's central. more fun. It's Central. It's Centralia. <laughs> well, here in Centralia, I... Wait, uh, they're all over. Just go to taco trucks. I got a bunch down in the hood uh, right there in Wilmington on Figaro and PCH. Um there's a lot in East Los, Boyle Heights, that area. That There actually is a lot of not... I know I look how I look, but my grandma was from Chihuahua, and I grew up with the best, most authentic Mexican food on earth. So I'm we're extremely picky. Yes. And you would be surprised. Like, you would just assume that all of L.A. has good food, Mexican food. But it's, no, it's like two out of eight. You know, it's not all yeah. of them. You're like, I'm like, that was all right. But they get away because there's a lot of gringos and surfers and shit, and they don't, mm. they don't know. Actually, San Diego has the best fish tacos. That shit comes up from Baja, California, like Loreto, like these small fishing towns in Mexico. Oh, oh like San shit. Diego. San Diego's got fire-ass Mexican uh, uh, fish tacos. The best. And then, Anyways, I'll take you. You're busy. You got shit to do, but I'll take you to get some good tacos. But a lot of them are pork. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to. I'm trying not to eat pork because they're so smart and cute. That too, uh, you know, and our our whole uh, meat system. I'm fine eating meat. I just, you know, the industrial conglomerate corporate system that it is. It's just like, hey, man, this isn't this isn't good. Yeah, the to be honest, it is the the Instagram videos of cows and pigs being pet, and they like in, are enjoying it like the cat did. It's makes hard. Me feel bad, yeah. it makes me feel real chickens. Bad. I'll fucking eat. I'll yeah, drink your blood. Fuck. Gobble, gobble. Yeah, totally. I ain't petting Fish. you. You <laughs> yeah. got that annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime I see a video of somebody petting a <laughs> chicken, I'm like, sound like? Uh, <laughs> is that right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, you're right. Something like I could kill a fish, I could kill a chicken. A cow, I'm like, no, not Betsy. <laughs> not big Betsy. I'll eat venison because deer even. I'm like, you're rats. You're everywhere where I'm from. They're it's strange. Dangerous. It's crazy to think that certain areas they're like murder 300 deers or we have problems yeah. like that's crazy that, i'm Ithaca, fine they with tried that to give them birth control cr- <laughs> the hunters were like it was a problem i wouldn't want to eat a birth control deer that's the well, one that was the thing they wanted people not to hunt them because it's such a hippie stupid i mean i love oh, you're gonna give them hormones instead yeah, you're gonna give the deer cancer you're gonna give, <laughs> you're gonna the, give the deer side effects <laughs> yeah let them catch a fucking bullet and go out like a man you're gonna give Arrow, the deer some munchies whatever that sucks it's the worst just should what i would rather be we? shot than take yeah, birth 100 <laughs> also they got to get all of them as you know like once you hear these weird analogies, it's fucking true. To grow like soybean, they have to kill everything. All the gophers, all the squirrels, all the... Oh. Uh, what's that? The, the little three little piggies that came in on your mama? Skunks. Skunks. Dang it. Little skunkies. My brain's farting. They don't have stinkers when they're babies. Oh, so you can pet them. You can. Mr. They, Cat got sprayed by a skunk. He smoked for months. Did you tomato sauce him? We did everything. Really? He, would, he gave me a headache, and I just lived with it. My home smelled like a skunk. He I seems like a hunter. He His is. face is chiseled. He has yeah. like a. He he gets down. He He'll, should be. In he brought me a couple cats. birds and butterflies and a mouse. Are they alive or dead? All of the this, you know. Both. Da- on their way to death. If he brings you live ones, like my mom's cat brings her like live creatures and lets them go in the house. That's why she always has so many animals in there. Mm. And her vet was like, "That's because she thinks that you're." smart and you and she wants you to have fresh food so she's like catch it yourself 
So your cats think you're a big stupid idiot. That's fine. <laughs> They're That's like, fine. here's a dead thing. Eat it. Eat it or you're dead. They're like, we heard how you talk. You're welcome. Bro. We heard. <laughs> well, you can't even deposit a check. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I have two checks at home. I Every day meant to deposit them. I, why are we so bad with that? Uh, child abuse, trauma. Child abuse. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have I a safe, loving environment the first seven years, and our subconscious downloads it, so we're in a constant state of survival. We don't know how to operate, and we're just, like, scattered. You know, we, we check out. Have you met people who were raised correctly? Yeah. They're fucking awesome. They have their <laughs> shit <so> cool. together. <laughs> I'm they're like, so how nice. do you not? How How is every day not a struggle for you? How is every day not just a consumption of things? All my day is just like (laughs) stuff. I love myself. I'm at peace. Or they're just like they 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 understand that like they are themselves. Therefore, it's not a it's not like a choice. It's like I am myself, so I'll be the best that I can be. I'm like I am myself, and that sucks. We could get rid of it though. I've seen it. Fucking, I'm in the process of it. $200 I dollar therapy. I mean, every no, week. no therapies. I mean, the right therapist, psycho assisted therapy. Everything's got it. I'm, I want steroids. I want, I want to get there. Yeah, how do you do um, that? Gabor Mate, follow that fool. Luis Hay, Doctor Wayne Dyer, ayahuasca, microdosing, go to the jungle, fast cleanse, get out of this shit. It's all poison. AI, this, uh, I'm fucking garbage. You think fasting helps? Oh, big time. Cause you want to heal, just don't eat. Why? Cause all of our food is poison. Oh, it's all bullshit. Your body is constantly. That's why constantly... I switched. I only eat oatmeal right now, and it's a problem. And it's people are like, "Why don't you just like I I got paid well from this club, and they're like, let's go out to eat.'" And I was like, "I don't like eating out. I don't like eating foreign weird. I like plain horse food, apples, or, oatmeal." Oh, I mean, it's I'm crazy. Mix in some fruits and veggies. I there. miss getting fruit. I mix <laughs> okay, some okay, okay, okay. Athletic like, greens. Just shout out oatmeal. No it's crazy. chlorophyll in these I don't bones. like any extraneous shit. I hate, I mean, it's not that I don't like the taste, but it. I do you, have that thing where I'm like, st- I want to, st- I want the pipes to stay squeaky. I just learn too much. Yeah. And you're like, why is there poison in everything? It's crazy. Fucking farmed fish. We can't even have regular fish. My daddy's a fisherman. We used to go out to sea and get a fish and eat the fish. Now it's in a fucking bathtub of turds. Is Watch it? those videos. Tilapia, they clean sewage systems. They let the poop out and the tilapia eats all the shit and well, cleans the water. Tilapia shouldn't be eating. No, not at all. Yeah. I, and I don't <laughs> remember tilapia fish. as a child. Like, I think that's GMO. Yeah. Farm bread. Like, what do, what? What, what are they? What? They're sea bass in the sea. Stop. Stop it. Stop it's it. all profit driven. It's garbage. Have, my friend is an Alaskan fisherwoman in uh, Alaska. You're Obviously. a foreman, you know, fisher woman. What's going on? Isn't here? that crazy? All my friends are like, all my female friends are like insane bosses. I think it's because, I mean, e, well, you attract to each other, I think. Yeah. But there's also like a capable, like, I can be very misogynist. I'm, a, I'm just friends with a bunch of seamstresses. What's going on here? Yeah. Is that my aura? That's right. I could thread a needle, bitch. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, speaking to me i'm way more friends with pe- non-comics than comics i find i mean i'm close to all my comedians friends but my non-comic friends are like i don't know there's a, a totally different thing there's like a i don't know there's almost like a um I don't female out. comedians are broken we're all very fucked up in the head you know what i mean and we're all emulating men which I'm like, yes, this is cool. This is awesome. We're like, we have to be masculine in order to survive in this. Less in LA, but in New York, all all of us are dropping our voices yeah. and doing like this. But then my female friends who aren't in comedy are like women who ha- do powerful things, whereas, which is nice. That is nice. Compared to a bunch of women who aren't lesbians pretending to be lesbians doing I, comedy. I just stop hanging out there. I can't. I got like one, two days off and I shoot a podcast and then I choose my family. You know, it's like. Totally. It's, it's just, I'm busy. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. I see your schedule. It's nuts. Yeah. How many weekends am I doing? What's, how many weekends are in a year? 52. 52. Mm-hmm. How did you? I'm doing 50. Well, one weekend I'll do four or five cities. Like I'm home for three weeks. I'll go pop, pop, pop. Like four or five one-nighters. Or oh, like, Wow. I'll do, like, for instance, I did uh, Portland, Spokane, Seattle, Tacoma. Right. Bam, 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 bam. That's a good run. And then I'm doing, like, I'll just get near so flights are cheap and short. 
like I'm doing uh, Chicago, Cleveland, Toronto, but every flight in between is just like an hour, pop, 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 you know? Yes. Toronto is so good for comedy. I haven't done it properly yet. I did it one time in the tiniest little shoebox theater, but really? I'm finally doing, uh, what's that called? It's in Chicago too. Comedy bar. Yeah, I just did that. It's nice. I can't wait. You can't get any water served to you there, but the club is amazing. That's so funny. They it's like the green give you room, water there? The green room. I was like, hey, can I just grab some water? And they'd be like, oh my God, we're going to go get it. And they'd be like, an hour later after Here's the show. thought. Just have it in there to it begin just with. Just have it in there. Just have with. water Maybe in there. Just have right a little six pack right on the table. It doesn't even got to be cold. You don't need a fridge. That club is We talk great. a lot. We want to wet the whistle. We got to wet the whistle. <laughs> I, I would, that shit bugs me so much to where I was tired of being triggered by it you know reacting because it is fucked up water water i'm not asking for crystal yeah math (laughs) um yeah i bring my own water now i just bring a big old 1.5 i know i bring the but that's wrong we're the headliner we're bringing our own fucking water bottle because there's no water half the time in the fucking green room that's insanity it's crazy it is crazy it's basic human necessity. Last night I was dying. I was at the store and I was like, I don't know where to get water in this place. I don't. I can't find any water bottles anywhere. And then a guy, a fan, I always have a squirty on stage at Gatorade, and he brought me like an elite squirty, which I have here. But I was like, thank God. And then I like found the bartender. And was like, just fill it up. And he was like, the whole thing. And I was like, every bit of it. Yeah. And I've been <laughs> like carrying this thing around LA. They've gotten better at that in recent times. And they, the main room will have a case of water in it. But it Dude, literally is room. like this year. Holy shit. I've never performed in there, but I saw it for the first time last night. You're doing like, it tonight, right? Yeah. Oh, it's the cat's Am meow. I? Is that in the main room? I thought so. You're on Fury, Fury show, show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that room is beautiful. The curtain and the sign yeah. and the red and the blah. They're all good. The little mall goth in me was They're like, They're all yeah. good. The belly's good. The OR is something magical and scary about it. It's so fun. Yeah. It's, it's really so good. It's so fun. I'm excited to do I've only ever done the belly. I did it last night and it was so People complain about the belly because it's like the smallest one. Dude, the, I've had some of the most electric sets I've ever had in that tiny little shoebox of a room. My only problem with the belly room is there's a mirror next to the stage, and I don't like that. I want to be alone up there. The last thing I want is another one of me. Just don't look. I try not to, but I'm, I can feel I'll her. give you one of the, <laughs> well, just one horse blinder on your left side. Yes, that's what I need in general. Yeah. Then we would deposit the checks. Yeah. If you had horse blinders, get out of here. Focus on your own race. Ah, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> the squirrel's beating me. <laughs> I thought you meant focus on your own race, like focus on being white. Focus on being white. <laughs> You should move to Texas. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's crazy. I just spent too much time there. Will you get over here, cat? You're a little porn star. Boo. Boo boo. Where's wow. Mi- is Mister behind you in the corner? No. Get this woman a cat. Get, <laughs> get her a damn cat. Oh boo-boo. my god. Boo boo. I need Come therapy, here. please. Come here, oh oh. Yeah, there you go. She's coming. So drink a little bit of your water first. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Come on, oh, boo-boo. Oh, don't make those noises. I'll die. Come on, you do the... Come on, boo-boo. Ah, okay, so you, what do you do one-nighters for how many weeks in a row? One week on, one week off? I, there's no method in the madness. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, just, I, I make sure I don't stay... Like, I'm, I can't do six weeks in a row anymore. I need a break. I'll kill myself. It's just too much. You get fried. I don't know what happens, but you can't do two weeks in a row. Yeah, six weeks. Like, so, I I could do three weekends in a row. Yes. I need a week off. I need a break. Well, my problem is I do this stupid thing where I go, I'm on the I'm on the road every weekend, and then I'll do spots in the city during the week, right? And then I'll be like, oh, I have a week in New York where I'm not on the road, and then I'll just tell all the clubs. I'll be like, hey, I'm in town, and then I end up doing seven spots on Friday, Saturday. And I'm way more burnt out than I was on the road. And that was like my weekend off. Yeah, I, I I, barely, like this month, like I didn't ask for spots this week. I feel weird. I yeah. feel weird. Totally. But I'm like, just take a fucking break. Yeah. And I don't like it. Like I even, still my buddy hit me up to do like one shitty one. And it's literally two blocks away. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that. I could walk there. Yeah. Um, But... Yeah, just something. What is it that like 
go get it, go get it, go get it. And then you get it so much to then it becomes a detriment to your fucking health to where you're like, I'm getting too much. This is overwhelming. But then just going back a little bit, you're like, I can't. I can't like well, what it's is the same thing with the money in the bank. Like remember when you had I mean, I remember when I was had paycheck to paycheck, <laughs> no money, and I would get like five hundred and I'd be like, Okay, this is good. I have like a nest egg. And then I would dip below that and I'd be like, I'm and now it's like I have whatever amount of money and if I dip below that, it's the same as back then. It's yeah. like the same to me. If I dip below what I've had, I'm like, Uh oh, we gotta get more. I'm yeah. like I'm it, not doing shit with it. And I'm the not, first number's so sad. The first the number's sec- so sad. No, I know. I was the same. Mine was like negative. And you know how many times I've said it so many times, cash advancing, paycheck advances, oh, yeah. uh, uh, just borrowing or whatever, you know, just and now recycling it's the same cans, but feeling. for like money, you know, like, oh, I need 20 bucks. How many cans? We, like, you know, it's crazy. Isn't that bad? Yeah. But look at us now. I got I got these little rocker chairs. Yeah, it's really bizarre. But don't you feel as bad as you fe- felt then if you dip below? You know what I mean? Like, say you have to lose, you know, 5K to something, right? Or you, maybe you record something for 15. Immediately, I feel as bad as when I was like... Yeah, you're like, damn, I'm back to... I'm, I'm a carpenter again. Yeah, a nest egg is comforting. You're like, oh, I got that. Yeah. But I, I should... My therapist is always like, you never are like, I've achieved this. I should be happy for me. I'm always like, it's not enough. Isn't it? And when I, I remember when I got JFL, I was like, okay, Jordan, now you you like know that you should be doing comedy. This is a good sign. You can like like yourself a little bit. And I remember like holding on to that for like two days and then being like, but no, you're bad and stupid and dumb and terrible and you shouldn't be. Yeah, here. it's just uh, back to that childhood shit. Your, our programming, our programming is you're not enough. You're not good enough. You got to be perfect. You didn't do that right. You could have said that better. You could have got an extra chuckle right there. <laughs> yeah. It keeps you sharp. It keeps you good and it raises your talents, but it also eats you alive. So I don't know. I'm trying to find a balance as well. You're not a piece of shit. You're very funny and I love you. Thank you. I, love I was you talking well. to Christopher. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was for you, fool. It's I, also like you think about people like Louie and you're like, you know, I... It's like he made so many movies, cranked out scripts, started. He did not go to college. He dropped out of, I think he dropped out of high school, just started making shit. And his, I mean, his resume is like insane. Yeah. And and I don't know how, I mean, there's so many comics who did that, where that by the time they're 40, they've made two movies and, you know, worked on two late night shows and it's very different now but if you compare yourself to those people it's it can get really tricky but it's also like no the comparison is the first joy killer just think about where you started and where you're at now right. that's the best to feel happy he knows he started with me we we're in a studio apartment no kitchen with the gopro and the footage was real shitty now we got two cameras and two new old lady rocking chairs <laughs> and we're about to get a third camera and level this up even more so and that's cracking yeah. That's progress. Yeah. That's work. You put in the work. But how did those guys do that? Just I don't know. How? What it, happened? It was easier and harder, if that makes any sense. There was no social media, and if you had the talent, you got a movie. Now there's so much everything. It's oversaturated, but that's good in the sense that you can create your own shit. I think that's what it is. I think that if we looked at podcasting and, and specials and albums and clips as the what they looked at movies in late night i think that that's what it is there's just way too much red tape now so we're making our own shit which is the same amount of it's just as good it's, it's just you can't better it's freedom yeah totally we need nothing we need, we need nothing. nothing it's awesome we can, look at my studio state of the art <laughs> built it myself you got the look at this animal is <laughs> i know i'm telling you cats it's really intense how much joy she's getting out of these scratches i was never a cat person too i was raised to hate them I I was a barn girl, so I liked all of That's God's good. creatures. That's better. Except for Mexicans. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there it is. Texas. Texas. I, dude, I I'm actually. Kidding. Not all people in Texas are racist, okay, Texas? We're just joshing around. They but you are. know you got some. You know. Everybody does. LA's got some. Oh, my God. That's... Where do you think the race riots happened in the 60s and 90s? Right here. Do you think that happens because it's not racist? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it mean, was abuse, brutality. The the weird thing was in Austin there were there would be like black comics saying they hate there was there's like republic black republicans there which is I've heard about this but 
I haven't met any, but watching that I mean, comedy. It's fine like, being a black or brown Republican. There's nothing wrong with that. Right, but there was a lot of like uh, edgelordy stuff with that where it was like, you know, they would, there was like. If they're saying build the wall, that's different. Right. There's like black people being like, build the wall, gay people are bad. But then, so then you have the Texans being like, I'm going to laugh at this because you are black. And it was like, it's all, it's all tangled mm. up. It's all <laughs> fucked up. I got to visit Austin. You gotta go. got to go. It's actually pretty wild. It's like open micers getting up on stage and saying crazy. Where was I? Were there? Toronto too. Getting super edgelordy. Oh. It's, it's, yeah, it's hit the, I think the pendulum swung and then it swung really hard and we're in that, which is fine. But I, it, I think it will settle somewhere. Yeah, you got to be funny. You can't just be shocking. Yes. I think it's going to settle into a nice place. I'm, I'm excited that we're, it was in a nice place and then it swung far and I, it'll, I think it'll go back and perpetuate. Yeah, that's what always happens. You swing too far, lefty pussy boy, and then it goes this way and you're like, goo. Yes. It's a bit <laughs> Nazi guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> But I get it because you're just like, man, fuck you. Yeah, totally. I'm it's gonna just say a... this, and then you're like, oh fuck. Yeah, you really it's like can. spite. It's like, it's like shock spite. It's out of spite. I've I've done it. I've and done it. Who hasn't? Just in life, you're like, oh yeah. Yeah, the self the self deception that the whole woke thing did was really bizarre. Like the like you cannot say these things was very like. It it just triggers people's like oh like don't touch this button thing and you're like oh, dude I can't I how long I'm going to touch it how long can I not touch this button you're a button toucher too huh and people are like I don't even see the button I, I don't did, even see the button I don't I, even know there's a button there it's all I can see yes it's all, all I can there see. is is button it's a hundred percent it's calling it's my name button. get over here Craig. I can't see anything push the button who cares if you get arrested push I'm it. such a damn don't push the button that's awesome though. Push the fucking button. Oh, what but are you going to do, start button, a war? <laughs> it's cra- That little red lever on subways in New York, where you pull it and it stops it, is the bane of my existence. Not all the subways have know it. That it's just a beautiful, I'm going to go sit by it next time. Satisfying. Be like this. Oh, you want to pull it there. You <laughs> just want to give it a tug. Anybody got any Kool-Aid? Because I just need some sugar to take me over the edge. <laughs> oh my God. Give me some tropical punch. I'm pulling the lever. That's how it was I'm yesterday. I'm pulling the lever. Who's got Ecto Cooler? <laughs> I love Ecto Cooler. What's Ecto Cooler? That sounds it's like Slimer is high C. It was oh. green, green sugar poison water oh, that I grew up yes. on. My mama freeze them. And Remember these the ones with in. the plastic? <laughs> What'd you say? That's another bit. <laughs> I had a hematoma in my left nutsack and I put frozen juice box on it, but that was for like one month. But what were you saying? Remember those plastic ones where you'd break off the top and chew on it? Squeeze pops Squeeze and Kool Aids. Yeah, those were too expensive. We got just Kool Aid powder. It was like, I remember there was Kool Aid and it was like ten, 10. cents. Maybe oh. it jumped to a quarter for a packet, and then there was Flavor Aid, and that was like a nickel. And we were like poor, but we weren't that poor. <laughs> we got we got the designer poison. Oh, we didn't that's get good. flavor aid and we'd always visit some family and they'd get flavor aid and we were like guys <laughs> it's a nickel yeah here, here you go it just you looks know? like a medicine like a band-aid pack <laughs> i respect that though like i don't know what it taught me but like some of my family would visit my grandma's relatives and shit and they'd build a back house and like cardboard and shit oh. in east los and but it was like i like that shit i was like look at these fuckers just Who making built a it back happen house? I'm like my cousins and shit. But I remember being like, Mom, that's cardboard. And I was like eight. And she's like, shut up. Oh, oh, really? That's a refrigerator <laughs> box. Yeah. Wow. I was like, why'd they paint the cardboard? Because it was free building supplies. That's why. Just don't put your elbow in it. It might go through. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, why haven't you heard of Cobb? They would build little places little, in the backyard mm-hmm. for them to live. Mm-hmm. I yes, there was a family my, in my dad. And my dad had dirt. like very low income people living yeah. in a barn, and we went. I I was like re mudding the basement, or I think I was re drywalling it. And I went down there, and there was this room that somebody had built out of drywall. Yeah, and it had like little kids stamps along. And I was like, oh, a child was living down here. <laughs> yeah, in this barn, dude. Wild shit. Car- dirt floors, cardboard, back houses, uh, kids everywhere. Most of the females, dudes are in prison. Yeah. It's Where wild. did you grow up? Here in LA. Really? Yeah. yeah. What? In this? In... Yeah, not too far. I, I was born in Harbor City, and I was raised in Torrance and Lomita. They're all very close by. Okay. And then uh, I was- Do people know about those places? Or are they like, yeesh? N- well, yeah. It, 
that way's yeesh. This way's nice. Western is some sort of dividing line of uh, classes and ethnicities to mm-hmm. where like uh, some of my family that look like gangsters or they are, but they uh they they shaved head cholos. You yeah, know? Of they don't like cross and western this way because they get pulled over. And it it, oh, yeah. it it you grow up in the area, it's fucking true, y'all. If you're black or brown and you are in this area and and you look, this is sad. I don't believe this, but like it, it looks like you're from that area and you're in this area. You're you're most likely going to get pulled over. I've seen it throughout my life. Actually, Torrance PD just got caught with a gang of racist text. Someone hacked them and exposed it. Like right now, I mean, I knew it was rampant back in the day, but like it's still going on. And they just oh, pull wow. over black or brown people. I mean, I live with a black guy, a black comic, amazing comedian, not on social media, but he's so good, Ethan Simmons Patterson. And he gets, he's like the, he's like the sweetest backpack wearing cartoon watching nurse. He's a nurse also. And he gets frisked. I mean, yeah. like multiple times. People a month. say it's not a thing. And it's just like, be friends with any person of color and watch their eyes anytime they see the fuzz. They're like, yeah that's not fake and i'm being like the white girl who's like yelling at the like I, we got pulled yeah. over in my truck once and i was like dude i was like getting so mad at this cop and ethan was just like you have to not do this when i'm around you have to stop and i was like what oh interesting it's um people say that shit's not real but it is i mean how many body crams are gonna turn off <laughs> you know yeah oops oops <laughs> oops i hit the off button oh my god how did it turn off <laughs> Do you hate New York? Have you been in New York? I love New you York. You do love New York. I fucking love New really? York. Really? I couldn't live there though. It's too cannibal. Yeah. Y'all stacked on top of each other. That's why you get that fast walk and that aggression. And I'm just rage. like rage. It's full rage. Yeah. Cool it. Yeah. Fucking chill out, bro. I am the fast walker. Go to the, the rage. beach. <sighs> like Theo Vaughn had this funny bit where he said, "Like I went to New York. I said hello to somebody, and he said no." And I was like, yeah, that sums it up. (laughs) I have a bit, which is true, where I got pushed down on the subway platform and then a guy picked me up and put me on my feet. And I turned to him and I was like, thank you so much. And he went, move and shoved me again, shoved me down again. He's like, I don't want to step on you. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my way. That's the only reason why he picked me up. It was crazy. (laughs) Just to get him, like I was a piece of thing, like I was an obstacle. Yeah. It was crazy. But I'm like that too. I mean, I'm screaming all the, I'm on my motorcycle. I punched my motorcycle the other day. I think I would do the same thing I do in Los Angeles, but I did in recent years because I'm more established and my life's more together. Just live on the outskirts in a beautiful, peaceful neighborhood and then just go into town when I have to work. Yeah. I live in such a secret Because LA is chaos too. This is crazy. This is heaven on earth. You go to, have you been to downtown? (laughs) Where Downtown. Downtown Los Angeles? Where's it's like Gotham. It's like it's like fake. You just look. You're like, is this a is this is a movie? Oh, is that where Skid Row is and all that? Yes, 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 yeah. yes. I was there last time I was here. Crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. But it's almost beautiful in how crazy it is. It's almost looks like a movie. It's, it's like a play. It's weird. Yeah. It is bizarre. weird. Like, where what neighborhood is the store in improv in? West Hollywood. That's West Hollywood. West Hollywood. They clean it up. Okay. Them gay boys know how to party. Yeah, your guys' homeless people are like ripped with like like fur coats on yeah but then nice. they're saying and sunglasses generous. yes and yeah. sunglasses yeah yeah they're on diet our homeless people though just no bo- just missing body parts always <laughs> that, well downtown la you go there for that really yeah yeah wow i'll go check it out no i'm not gonna do that <laughs> oh man that shit's dark and, oh, wait wait where are we going i don't remember what's that noise that just came in a dumpster oh nice it's crazy how much it picks up that stuff it won't pick up on the actual pod, but oh um, really? But yeah, it heckles me too. Where I'm like, can they hear that? Because I'm talking about it. And this <laughs> is like they won't. I'll, I'll I'm like, oh, I just sound like a crazy person. <laughs> um, how far are we? How long does it take? You have a vehicle. Mm-hmm. What do you got? Lexus. Uh, what? LS. You're doing that 480? good. 480. You're doing Lexus good. Yeah, baby, come on. What's man. going what on? Is this up? because I'm not get? Is this because of the like, damn? Like, yeah. Is this because nah, nah. the? <laughs> 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 you want to touch my tooth hole? What's up? No, I'm sorry. Um, Anytime somebody talks about money, you should just do nah, that. Just pull it nah, out. Nah. Wow, it's crazy. Okay, you're doing Lexus good. I just for the first time got my uh, like a door deal. Like I, I'm constantly getting the because I'm in my first year of headlining. You'll get all that. 
It's all coming. Oh, You're that fucking first savage. Year, though, was scary. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> like I just did five shows and got twenty five hundred dollars. I'm going home with this. It's crazy. Yeah, it's amazing. And yeah. then uh, are you doing the merch game? Yeah, but I. It's such a bitch. I don't give a fuck. I wasn't gonna preach to you here on this, but I'll game do you. It. Up. How you think I got a fucking Lexus, dude? It's all merch. Merch, merch, wow. merch, merch doubles, if not more so than. Because you just bring shirts to shows. Hoodies. Do you check a bag or fuck do you? Fuck a shirt. Hoodies. Two check bags and a carry-on. I don't fuck around. Just me and three luggages. And yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, it's hard. It's and yeah, it's just a fucking... Um, I fly to New York, get up at 3 a.m. to get the gig same day. And it's... But I make fucking mad money. So yeah, I do that shit. Do you, and you? I used to make fun of fools that held up their hoodie on stage. Now I'm like, buy my hoodie. <laughs> whack it yeah. attack, whack it attack, whack it. <laughs> wow. I'd have a song and dance with I don't. <laughs> no, you, I make high quality shit. It goes to a story that I, I literally, even if I w- didn't want to do, the fans would be mad if I didn't. So I mm-hmm. have to do it. And then, and then that's that. And it's high quality shit. I hire an artist. So it's not my face. Yeah. It's something that to like where Stuff Island is my favorite. Merch. Yeah, I love it. Dude, this shit's fire. They These guys really are uh, check out Chris O'Connor and Tommy Pope right there. It's the only merch that I wear is theirs. Like of people's. And uh no, it's it makes nice shit. I wanna wear this. If it was their faces, I fucking love those guys. But if it's their face, I ain't wearing it. They had a good birthday. Maybe the pajamas and then yeah. the girl is like, What is that? I'm like, Don't look at me. Yeah. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> 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 look, look, look at me. Don't look at my friends. Look at my face. Look, don't look at look my friends. At my whole. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your cat, my cat. We, who's got a camera? Hurry. Get it, get, get it, it, get it, get it. My merch, I have lady parts carpentry just like the Stuff Island, but it was definitely influenced. As long as it's slick. It could be words. It's my slick. my homie Chappelle Lacey, a dear friend of mine, he's so funny and a good dude. He has love is tight because he says love is tight. Like it's not, it doesn't have to be some grand fucking art. Yeah. Love is tight. I want his shit because yeah. love is tight. Yeah. It's so fucking loosey goosey. Ain't even my slogan. It's just a slogan that went super viral. It's like, you know, that shit's from the 50s, and that's my Loosey whole... Goosey. That's my whole shit, and I was going to change it, but I'm like, it's 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 very lucrative, you know? I say oopsie poopsie. There it is. <laughs> yeah. There's your shit. Like I will that. wear oopsie poopsie. Oopsie poopsie. All fuck... A small, slick shirt like oopsie poopsie. Yeah. It's funny because I say whoopsie daisies a lot. Yeah. And a fan was like, you should make a whoopsie daisy shirt, and I was like, I think I will. With a little daisy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think... Oh, my God. We're I doing a lot that. of fist bumps. Aren't these nice? Hey, by the way, first things first, I forgot to say this, and this is last, not last, but I fucking love you, bro. And I know I just called you a bro. but uh, I am a bro. Yeah, I remember walking by the river in the carnival yes. during JFL, and we were all just shitting our pants, and we went to lunch with Ari Shafir. And I remember I bonded with you more so than anybody, because totally. we just hung out the whole day and just Sober. chatted. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. I just, I just, uh, it's fun to be in the trenches and see people uh, blow up. Uh, together and all that or, you know it's just fun it's, it's so fun great. to see winning i know that we're all a family all... like t- sam talent i feel oh, very, i love yeah. sam it's so he good was supposed to do my him. pod but i got covid and uh... I, I really want and need to get him back he is so funny check out his book uh run the light right running the light R- running the light running the light sam talent very brilliant comic great dude he's a good dude it was yeah. he i i l- latched on to you because you were sober, and then I hung out with you all day, and you told me insane stories. That I was like, "There's, this is crazy! I cannot believe that this is." <laughs> it was so fun, and then by night, I don't know what you did. I think you knew a lot of people. So then Sam, I was terrified at JFL. I was recently sober. I w- didn't know what I was doing. Sam just like popped an acid, a tab of acid. No wonder we got along. Yeah, <laughs> I thought he was real spiritual. Yes, <laughs> Sam, I fucking love you, dog. You're just on acid. Oh man, I wish I could join you. I'm scared. It was great. I had you by day being super like everything's good, and then him by night being like everything's good. And I was like, okay, this is this is the right place to be. Yeah. Who else did we have? We had Sean Grant, Sean G, my homie. Sean Grant went last. He went last. Yeah. Very funny dude. Um, Drew Dunn. So funny. Fucking Andrew Stanley. Um, Oh Mormon. He's not Mormon. I didn't even know he looks Mormon. Now that you said that, I was like, is he? Who else? I, I'm, shit, I hate this because now I'm going to forget friends. And later I'm gonna be like, oh. um, 
Sean Tina Murphy. Is there Sean Murphy? Oh yeah, Andrew Murphy. Andrew, Andrew Murphy. Murphy. Andrew Murphy. Um, Tina Fremo. Tina Fremo. Uh, another girl who I forget. And uh, oh, Napoleon! How Napoleon. fuck I forget my boy. I love Napoleon. That's the yeah. man right there, Napoleon Emil. Check him out. I wonder how JFL is now. Have you been back? Mm mm. Yeah, I wonder how it is. I heard this was the first year it was like back back and it was amazing it's really? because yeah because they did weird covid ones okay they did like jfl has always been in montreal canada and it's this big super bowl of comedy and i didn't understand it till i experienced it and you're like this is amazing yeah this is like Woodstock, but for comedy. The and Netflix party? Remember that oh thing? Oh, my God. That's where I got uncomfortable. I was like, I want to relapse. Dude, yes, I got to get too. out of here. I yeah. last like a half hour. I was like, I can't. That place, it, they were like walking around with full, full ass subs giving to people poutine. Yeah. It was oh, like yeah, poutine in the cups. It was one of those parties that you see in movies and you're like, this doesn't exist. These parties don't exist where people are just like. And dancing is, lounging every there's like it was hot women everybody's yeah, like well dressed great you feel like two feet tall and you're just like looking and you have the crazy. badge and like girls are looking at you you're funny i'm like yes yeah <laughs> you, you want to see my tooth hole after the show <laughs> <laughs> i'll let you touch it oh no where was it going we had something oh uh i got oh that's not that interesting i remember what it was what was it there was like weird ones in between where they did it at austin or mexico or yeah. los angeles new york it wasn't you know yeah it's got to be at the place yeah and last year this year i'm sorry it was uh at the place montreal and all the homies did it. i knew like half of them i just was talking to laura peak last night and she was saying that they put like a that they did like this this uh partnership with meta where oh. they have like cameras so imagine doing your the jfl set that we did in the theater but there's a camera closer to you than this one and on all sides of you oh isn't that crazy cringe like between you and the audience there is a camera i don't yeah. even understand how that works oh my gosh this cat you gotta move in now yeah ula oh my god ula I want to. I'll make an honest one. We have to bring. Yeah. We have to bring. <laughs> I don't know why Ian. I said that. I'm sorry. You have to bring me in. I'll bring Ian. Ian. He's funny. That guy's so funny. I think he would move. I met him uh, at the improv one time only. I don't even really? know if he knows me, but yeah, I'm he's, a fan. He's very funny. He's the best. Yeah. I think we should both move here because New York is starting to. Kill I've been me. really wanting to do like just both, like apartment swap. Yeah. I live with two other people or else I would. So yeah. Everybody. And it's also really hard. Like I, I have a nice place with animals by the beach. It's like, I don't know who I trust yet. You know? Good point. I'm like, like you were like Rosebud Baker. I'm like, yeah, you could stay here. Yeah. Like some of my other friends. I'm like, uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> it probably uh -uh. has to be women. Yeah. Or gay. Yeah. Yeah. Who's a good. Because then I would want your apartment. And I also like, this is, I got an ocean view. You better give me something nice. I ain't. Right. <laughs> Fair exchange. Like, I get a closet in the hood. I'm like, hey. <laughs> That's the problem with New York apartment swaps is, like, probably a lot of your friends either live with people or live in a yeah. tiny, tiny thing. So and it's, it's just like, I'm an deal. adult. I don't, I don't want to. Like, my buddies will put me on their couch. I'm like, you have a wife. I'm not. I'm not doing this. <laughs> yeah. I'll lose money and just give the Hampton in a thousand fucking dollars. I, I think it is the amount of texts I get being like, can I crash on your couch for four days? Like I'm in town. I'm like, no, you are 35 no, you cannot. years old. <laughs> I'll you, give you one night. One night. One night in a pinch because you're in a pinch. Yes. But yeah, five Grow days. Up. It's crazy. Grow up. <laughs> if you are traveling for five days, you shouldn't be driving for, if you can't afford to stay somewhere yeah. or have it worked out. It's crazy. Just something happens. Like I had that in me, but like in the beginning. Now I'm like, no, I I have standards, basic and living back needs. Pain. Yeah, that too. Ugh, and, and it's the, not like I'm saying at the Waldorf Astoria, we'll get there. We'll get to the Tim Dillon yeah. level. I said Dillon. Shit, Tim Dillon level. God, I love that funny motherfucker. I, was I? I was supposed to be on a show with him last night. He is very, very funny. I'm like, so funny. He lives here, right? He, yeah. All year long. He has a huge house on the hill, like a $20 million mansion. Wow. Or something like that. I haven't been yet, but all my homies have, and they're like, it's fucking stupid nice. Wow. That's crazy. And I heard him say in the green room, I was just on a show with him, and he said, I love that house because it keeps me inspired to keep making shit, to keep growing. 
Because the mortgage is so high? <laughs> yeah, for two different reasons. That's what he said, I believe. Because uh, the mortgage incentive, yeah. very, very high mortgage. Yeah. And also, like, it's true. You grow into a space. Like, I went from a studio to a two-bedroom, and I'm already ready to level up. You know? Yeah. Like, you grow out of shit. I'm very happy here, and I love my little cute bungalow. But I'm so also, cute. it's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. What do you need space for, though? I, I, I guess I don't. But I guess... You know, uh, a bedroom where I don't roll over and hit my head on the nightstand because it's in this far away. Because of it has to be. Yeah. Actually, the only room I would I would love a, a kitchen table that's missing a dining room area and a larger bedroom. I don't even technically need. But yeah, you know, you just want you just like I just got smaller chairs because I had these massive chairs in the living room and I'd like this would hit this and you know you just mm -hmm. want. I was just telling him like I I don't I just want like five more feet, like it ain't even that much. I know. I, just, I want I want to have a house somewhere else, and have an apartment in New York. Like I want smart. a place that I can escape to. Do it. I know. But. I'll send you links to affordable apartments. You and Ian, dude. There's a shit. It's it's not a shithole, but it, the shitty one across the street was two bedroom for twenty two hundred. Wow. That's what I mean. That's crazy. That's crazy. I want to buy like a piece of like a house somewhere where it's cheap and then fix it up i do too like outside of nashville or upstate new york or something like that yeah i've been Colorado. thinking as i come into more money i was like i want to off the grid fuck off fuck the government fuck the illuminati Just totally my guns there and my seeds you know what i'm saying i got a motorcycle for that reason Peace i was like i'm up. never gonna be able to get out of the city with a car i need oh, something yeah. that will get me yeah the motorcycle didn't go. That's why Bill Burr said he got into helicopters. Yeah. Uh, the ultimate fuck off bill. <laughs> <laughs> yes. God, he's the man, too. He did my podcast. Whoa. Did he? I still say that, but uh, who cares? Celebrate it. It's the best credit I've ever had in my life. Yeah, that's unbelievable. We he had Tom Segura. so I think funny and game. cool. And I can't stop saying it either. I know. That's awesome, though. I know. Tom is Oh, we had a tell do awesome. it. A tell. Oh, that's a legend. Big. And Bobby. Bobby Lee. Yes. Bobby's next. He's going to do mine. I, Ian opens for Attell and I open for Louie, which are, are two gods of comedy. And I just really think Louie should do the pod. And I don't, I gotta. You'll get him. I gotta get him. It's really hard because you have to convince somebody to go into a basement where people smoke cigarettes. Hmm. And uh, yeah, that's tough to do. I think you got a basement room for your pod? Ian's basement. That's awesome. Yeah. That's why it's it, awesome. Yeah, it's cool. It's amazing. Everything's so. But a tell is like, you want me to crawl into a hole and smoke cigarettes? I'm there. Yeah, you know I was just I mean? about but to say Louis, that sounds like where yeah. he, it was birth. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally. No disrespect. You're a fucking god. He's a god. They, He's a they elected a god. A rat king, a rat czar of New York to take care of all the rats. And my first thought is, I was like, this has to be David Tell. He is a recorder. Yeah, he can get them to follow him. This I'll is bring him. my cats. I'll help. I know. I got four, Dave. He is that guy. You hear people being like, I need to not do comedy in order to get better at comedy. And I'm like, you need to not do comedy to for your mental health. But that dude only does comedy, goes to bed, wakes up and does it again. And it pays off. He speaks in stand up. He speaks in stand up. He Mark Norman's like that, too. Yeah. They only speak jokes. And you're just. It's epic. It's crazy. And they're you're like, you're just jokes. always you're the smartest, the quickest, the wittiest. I'm struggling with the word sword. And this guy's just going. Rah, rah, rah. And I'm like. Everything he sees is a you look like joke. I mean, it's unbelievable. And it's exactly what it is. And it's, it's so accurate and niche. And, and, and you're like, how the fuck do you think about that? It's crazy. Yeah, that guy's the man. I was emceeing a show at the Hollywood Improv. And it was a weird audience that night. And nobody was murdering. Like, David Tell wasn't murdering. And, and he got off stage and he's like, give him hell. And I thought he meant, like, talk shit. Yeah. So I'm like, that's the king right there. I was like, hey, you fucking pussies. And he wiped up. I just started talking shit. Yeah. Like, that's Dave fucking the tell. Hell My yeah. Mexican side came out, the gangster. It's like, shame on you. And then he got off stage. He's like, no, I meant like kill, man. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I let my hero down. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you said give him hell. Dude, at the cellar, he'll it. pull people in to kill talk it. to you. And if you you feel like such a retard, sorry for saying retard, but you feel so You're bad. You're safe here. Okay, retard. Good. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, good. You never know in LA. You got to be careful. I got a cat on my lap who's biting We're gonna the cord. Bleep that. We're going to bleep Look that. Look at how much this cat has she gummed up this. She didn't even react. What do we have to eat? I said the F1. <gasps> you said, that's okay. My mom's a. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll bleep those. This My mom fun. says it so much. And she is? And she's a lesbian, yeah. That's Every guy amazing. she meets, like, we bring his around here. Are you, who's this guy? I'm like, mom, first of all, I'm dating him. Second of all, <laughs> you're a gay man. You're, second of all, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not getting hard. It's so And he's really good. into my butthole. <laughs> yeah, always. Yeah, this whole eat and ass thing was really super. The whole, were you on the eat and ass craze? I did it in 2002. You were eating ass? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't admit it then, though. Oh, there was a lot of eating ass jokes, and I was like, when are the gay jokes going to kick back up mm, here? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of eating ass jokes. I was seeing this one lady, and she told me she was dating this older gentleman, and he had to eat her ass, like, every time. And she wasn't even into it. Wow. And so much so that he said, can you stop using baby wipes? I can taste the baby wipes in your ass. And she's like, I don't even want you to eat my ass. And then he, bottom line is the motherfucker was gay. Because he, he, she told him, he told her that he used to suck a lot of dick like 20 years ago. Wow. And she's like, you're gay. And he's like, no, I, I just suck dick. And I only want to eat your ass. The two and I'm most like, difficult hey, parts buddy, of being gay. Just be gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's the very also, simple solution. Also, he didn't even want a clean ass. He wanted a slightly dirtied ass. He wanted a I salty ass. He was tired of cottonelle flavored butt. He didn't want a he didn't want a Purell butt. He wanted a man's ass, a sweaty man's ass. And this is like a a like she's I don't even know like thirty five you know kids and shit, and she was dating an older dude. So this is like a 50-year-old guy that only ate ass. 50-year-old guy who's like, hey, could you get your pussy a little further away from your yeah. asshole? It is grossing me yeah. out. I need this to be a little further It's like, away. you're 50? That's Just be yourself. I know. That's Just crazy. be yourself. What is wrong with people? Be gay. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Be gay and don't go to Texas. Yeah. <laughs> and Arkansas, you know, man, and a couple others. I think a lot of gay guys are like, but I do love having sex with women. And you're like, yeah, it's good it's great it definitely is but if you are punctuating every vagina with sucking a dick you might be gay yeah. you know what i mean if you're thinking of a dick while in a vagina yeah you might be gay <laughs> yeah i'm if just saying asking the woman to leave her her yeah. her dumper yeah. stank yeah please leave my the dumper stank hey <laughs> this is like you might be a redneck you might be gay <laughs> <laughs> we do one more right? with the dumper stinks <laughs> if you are I, i'm gonna name my family that this is to meet the dumper stinks <laughs> i think dumper for a butt is the funniest word of all time <laughs> who the dumper on that hose hound I was, wow i was talking about autistic kids growing up always had like Nam a big God. dumper yeah they do have yeah, big butts really nice butts. what's up with the I special know. kids and their thick thighs thick that sounded real thighs bad thighs and big oh. butts it's because they walk on their toes i think and they bounce oh that <laughs> is i made fun of tippy toe kids in a bit and people are like that's a sign of autism i'm like oh now i feel bad <laughs> i didn't know that though it wasn't malicious just, i still do the bit yeah tippy toe tippy toe kids that's why they have the big butts i think that's why it's called asperger's Ah, <laughs> that guy is, that's a smart scientist. What are we going to call it? Ass. <laughs> what are you having for lunch? Burger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ass burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, fat ass. Yeah. <laughs> Bring, um, and, whoa, we got off the rails there. Huh? <laughs> Do you watch uh, Love on a Spectrum? The most, the most no, offensive show in there. I listen to like De Tibetan flute Me with too. waterfalls. Do you ever listen to Tibet uh, Tuvan throat singing where it's like, wait, wait, it's like, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... I was about to make fun of you, and then you did it. And I went, <laughs> actually, I do. Yeah. <laughs> it's the <laughs> best. No, no, no. I can't do it. I just went, hey, <laughs> Kapoita. I love all indigenous shit. I'll be pounding on my chest. I've been getting those fucking Pendleton like tribal. I just blankets. bought a Pendleton blanket the on my best. way here because I got paid from the creek. Shout out Creek in the Cave. Austin. You, you got Amazing. a wool one. You got the real deal. Because mm -hmm. I started off with the Costco twenty four ninety nine one, and then I learned it was plastic, and I, got I the... found out about that. But I got a real one now. Yeah, I upgraded. It's a big deal. Yeah, it was, that was the gift that I bought myself for 
doing well in Austin because I the pendle the Airbnb she's got these Pendleton blankets in the Airbnb thrown around two of them crazy and I was like I could have one that's yeah. my every day she ha- in the Airbnb yeah now that's an Airbnb yeah there's tomatoes in the back because if I had one they're getting the plastic one yes <laughs> the wool one's mine you're getting the nurse blanket I got it on my birthday I treated myself I was like hey it's going good I'm gonna buy myself a blankie and a towel and I got a Pendleton blanket and a towel. Oh, it's nice. good to treat yourself. Not blow your money stupidly, but it's good. You got to treat yourself. You got to get the nice version of things as you do better and yes. get rid of the bad. All yeah. the nylon, get out of here. I got a plastic squatty body. I got a custom squatty potty guy. He's going to make me wood one, you know. Oh, my some cedar, God. cedar. Smaller. Squatty potty is the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. We have that. But we have a step stool instead of a squatty potty. Hey, it's same time to thing. Upgrade. Same thing. Do you know what I do in hotels? Ready for this hack? What? You need the squatty potty, right? I need it. Oh, trash can? Trash can. I'd be it doing over. it. Logical. You take the lining out, I'm flip not, that one over to You're too. not the only one that could swing a hammer <sighs> over here at the skank butts. What's it called? <laughs> Skanks boots? Dumper stank. Dumper skanks. Dumper skanks. Dumper skanks. Dumper stank. It's German. Dumper stank. Dumper. <laughs> Look at the cat looking at me. This cat is pissed that I stopped. My cat's it. got a big dumper skank. Yeah, this cat does have a dumper a dump. on it. <laughs> You got a I'm, getting, I'm going full retard real soon here. Your I don't know if you want to wrap this up. <laughs> I'm fully lobotomized. <laughs> it's crazy. I haven't slept in years. I, I'm on the. I'm strung out. You ever what just? Kinda, that's girl, how you do drugs. We, fast and don't sleep. Strung out. You're doing drugs. Oh yeah, the natural way though. The natural way. Yeah. We'll get you healed up. I'm far from it, but I'm way <laughs> better than before. And it's all natural. It's all something. Just go to the jungle. What's your, Bring num- your, what's your big skank tip steward. for me for New York? How do I stay California in New York? Did you move out of the city? I live in Brooklyn out of the city, yeah. In a beautiful Brooklyn neighborhood. Brooklyn sounds like the city. Still. No, no, no. Oh, no. Uh, the I woods, nature, Park, nature, nature, nature. I have the beach. You have the woods. Yes. Water, sun, soil, grounding, uh, feet to soil. Feet to soil. Yeah, we're electric magnetic beings. People make fun of this shit all the time, but it's there's study after real study of real scientists. It charges you. We're electromagnetic beings. It's electromagnetic realm or whatever the fuck this is. The earth uh, lets off a little pulse and uh is that you why when you go barefoot and when you're like you get that like yeah. mania the little kids. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's real. Totally. And people make fun of this shit. As science catch up to what I call my little woo-woo shit. This shit's real. Also, just go lay on the soil and this, this the beach or the grass. Tell me you don't feel like a kid again or it's happier. It's so nice. Even if you bike, like if you're yeah. biking and you bike on the grass, you feel like you're like, what? Even that, just a bike ride. Yeah. Try, try, try frowning on a bicycle. Yeah. Going down the hill. <laughs> yeah. You fucking can't, can you? It's impossible. you just like, <laughs> you would I'm like a fast. motorcycle. The motorcycle's changed no, my life. No, no, no. It's so fun. I die. I klutz. I like adrenaline. I'm a klutz. Uh, I dropped it the other day in front of the cellar, and this guy pulled it off me. And I go across the street, and Sam Marill, Derek Gaines are like, nice one. And I'm like, hey, friends, why didn't you come help me? And they're like, you had it. I was like, I was pinned, sir. It was crazy. But that was just me literally being like, I'm putting it down. And the kickstand wasn't out. And I was just like, and I'm going down mm. as well. Yeah. Crazy. But it's so funny. I'm scared of bikes. I, they, I rode one once. I was like, I'm going to die on this thing. If I get good at it, that's how I felt. Yeah. So I went, uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, you I, can't get too good. You have to be a I little. I like death stupid. in other ways, you know, as self destructive ways. <laughs> Not that one. That yeah. was too real. Well, too I close. think it's a fast death. Yeah. Which is nice. And like my grandma, she had three boys. One died in an accident. But, and, and so that was that fear, and they had that looming over. Yeah. And uh, they, she said, don't get a motorcycle to her boys and they all got them and they all crash and they all got rid of them though he actually died in a car wreck but my dad got a motorcycle and he's like two weeks later he's like i just fucking crashed and he's like okay i'm selling this he's like, yeah it's, both my parents have crashed it's crazy it's crazy and uh yeah so it's i get it you know just free open road oh it's nice it's also just you feel like you're trapped in the city but if you have a, if you're lane splitting and getting around i also get, go very slow i have a very small bike it's 250 cc's and it's like it's like a moped but it's a motorcycle so and i was on so many mopeds that i was like this is i might as well just get it i'm spending all my money on these stupid fucking things yeah so then the 
Yeah, and you can go to so many more spots because you have the motorcycle. It's so nice. Yeah, yeah, that would be fun. One more, yeah, moped. It's something about like a Harley. I'm like, I don't yeah. know, man. <laughs> Harleys are big boys. Fucking wah, 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 wah. Um, you feel weird. You're like, I'm zipping on the outside of things. I'm on a horse. Yeah. I'm on a horse and everybody is driving trucks and this is insane. The only motorcycle I ever rode was a dirt bike. Ooh. That was, that was cool though. Yeah. That funny. was scary. I was like, I'm going to die. Yeah. Um. Oh no, that's it. Wait, wait, you got shit to do. Yeah, I got to go to. Okay. Oh yeah, we've been rolling. No, but real quick, that's answer your question. Nature, nature, nature. Okay. Nature. Go to nature. You feel better. Yeah. 100% of the time. It's so simple. Long walks for the brain when I'm all crazy. Just a long fucking walk. And then by the end of it, you're like, eh. Yeah, totally. Yeah, shit, I'm telling you, you know, I, I practice it a little bit. I should do it more. It helps. But, you know, it's a process. Mm-hmm. It's all, it's just that grown up shit. You're a very healthy food guy. Honestly. I try to be. Yeah. Uh, more so in recent times, I battle. Like I'll be awful double cheese, double bacon cheeseburger pizza, and then I'll come home and detox from that. I'd like take psyllium husk, which is soluble fiber and vegetables, and just shit my brains out. But no, I eat like a awful. But I've been doing way better. Just clean eggs and fruit. Yeah, clean eggs. Chicken, fish, um, beef, but grass fed. You know that that jazz. It's, I think I should live out here to get rid of my demons. I think it's I should I should Just switch try it. You'll you'll blow up out here too. You're so talented. I think if I got in at the store, I would then do by coastal, but I don't know if I would move here and then wait to get in. You know what I mean? Yeah, but there's three. There's the improv and the laugh factory. That's true. So you get in at one or yes. all. You which you will. It's time. Like I I love my heroes because I just like Neil Brennan said, when I first got to this town, I didn't get up anywhere. Now I do all three. I heard Donnell basically say the same thing. You yeah. Know? That's awesome. And now they can do them whenever they want. But I did that want. in New York. That's the thing. It's hard to do it in New yeah. York and then move. I mean, I am all about anybody who moves to New York and they're like, I'm like, you move to New York and you do mics, dude. You're like doing like five mics a night and then you're doing shows and then hmm. the worst club all the way up. But after, and that's why I left Nashville because I was like, I got to leave before I get comfortable doing but now moving to LA, I think it would be hard for me to go back. You can to do like, it right, though. I've seen people. You, you can. It can be calculated. You yeah. can visit just like you are. Get in. I was furious to introduce you to Emily the Booker. I'm like, oh, she's so funny. She's a seller comic. Da da. She almost wears right. girl Louis. The, you know, boom. And if she takes liking to, there it is, right there. And it's almost like, I think it's easier to get past if you're almost not in town because it's oh she yeah. doesn't always have to give you spots you visit yeah like, hey i'm in town one month a year we're doing this new jokes show in new york and we just did it last night and i think we're gonna keep doing it in the belly room like every few months there's you in right there there you go and then you just do that and then they, every time you come down you do a pod and then and then you're people think you're west coast and you're like i'm just here a month a year or whatever a fucking weekend a month i don't you know yeah um and then no, I get it's... an outdoor shower in a bungalow. Yeah. I want an outdoor shower. On the beach. Oh. Okay, we got to end on yeah. some funny. Okay. You got a good pooping of the pants story, a shitting. Oh, oh wait, before we get to that, because yeah. you'd be a good one to ask. Um, it's community service, you know, knucklehead behavior and deviant shit. Uh, just like the whole point of this is any bad event that made you change for the better, any arrest, any this, and then we'll get to poopy time. Um, I went to jail because I stole a big bottle of liquor and then I, um, I stole a big bottle of liquor and I've been, to, I've been arrested a few times. I've been to jail like one more time since then, but that time I stayed overnight. I had the like orange jumpsuit. I was with a bunch of women in there and I texted, I'm like always have an unrequited love thing. Like I, somebody breaks up with me and I love them forever. And I texted that ex and was like, I just went to jail and he was like, oh, well, this can go into your comedy routine. And I think when he said that, I was like, man, the shit that I do is wild. Like, this is crazy that I just got out of jail and maybe I should try comedy. And I think that kind of put and me... you got sober, right? No, no fucking way. Not for years <laughs> later. No oh, way. years later? Because I wasn't drunk when I stole it. I just, I'm such a, I steal, I stole all my lumber so when I was a contractor. That- Jail led you to stand up because that's my story. Really? Yeah, I threw firecrackers at police officers on horses in Hermosa Beach, and I was like, I gotta change my life. And you were like, stand up is a good way to go. Yeah, yeah. And it took totally. a few years too because of drugs. 
Totally. <laughs> yeah, me too. It took yeah with the alcohol and everything. Yeah, it's hard. It's so funny. I was I was gonna say that. I was like, yeah. I was like, I should try stand up. It was three years later that I began, but yeah, that is when Same I first, yeah, yeah, totally. I did improv and sketch first, and it was three years later I got Ooh. sober and did stand up because I was so terrified, but I knew I wanted to be in that universe. I think when I went to jail, that's when I started thinking of things in bits. Like, I, like after he was like, "You should. This can go into your stand up routine." And so many people had said I should do stand up, and then I—that's the. But getting out of jail, Samesies. I was like, I need to Samesies. tell somebody about this. What the yeah, hell? crazy. Are you a Gemini? Yes. What? What? <laughs> When's your birthday? May twenty fourth. May twenty eighth. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm a Gemini. We're fucking nuts, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, now a good doo doo. What was it called? Skank butts? Damn it. Dumper stank. Dumper skanks. Dumper stank. You shit on your dumper skank. You pooped like embarrassing, like on a date or in jail in front of all the and you you crapped your orange. Well, there was too. one lady in that jail who had IBS and she was <laughs> on the toilet the whole time. And just shitting. And the, all of the women were like, whatever you do, just like, don't, just don't look at her. She has IBS and she's a really scary lady. And of course, because they said that the whole time, I was just like, <laughs> and she's just shitting and flushing. And, she, and if she had stopped shitting, she would have beat my fucking ass. If there had been a moment where she wasn't on that fucking toilet, because I was just like, I couldn't stop looking. It was crazy to me. It was crazy how much she was shitting. But my shit the pants story, this is kind of funny. I mean, the, who gets locked up with that bad of diarrhea? Dude. <laughs> Plan your life out, man. Unbelievable. Take a lactate. Crazy. This is jail. <laughs> Have she, some dignity. And there were seven other girls in there. We all had to shit. We all had to pee. Get your dumper skanks out of here. Crazy. And there's no walls. Her dumper was skanking. It was. Say it again one more time. Her dumper Dump, was. Dumper stank? Stankin'. No, it's, Dumper no, stank. what was the original? I Dumper thought it was stank. Dumper Stank. Dumper Stank. Skanks. Dumper Skanks. Stanks? Dump, Dumper Stanks. Bumper Stanks. Bumper Stanks. Bumper Stanks. Bumper. <laughs> now we're on Bumper? I shit my pants one time. <laughs> Actually, if, skid marks, I mean, Jesus Christ, that's <laughs> three times a month, and you throw the underwear in the trash, you walk that's away, right? It's embarrassing when they stain after the laundry, though. You're like, I am my family. Oh, I have OCD. I have to get it. I am. Yeah, I am. I am my past. I am my future. I am my death. <laughs> I thought I'm breaking this ancestral trauma, but the skid marks keep coming yeah. through. Come on, God. I won't be scared of AI until we can take clean shits. I'm like, I th th we can't go be in a technological. I'm going to the woods. You know what I mean? I'm like, I can't shit correctly. I can't get something to wipe my ass with one wipe, and we're. I don't believe in it. I don't believe that technology will. I've seen Terminator too. Yeah. I don't trust it. Stop it! Knock it off! So, I mean, technocrats. It, if it makes it so that I get, can have a ghost poop, um, it, technology can advance <laughs> as much as it wants. But we need to focus it on that. I enjoy the fecal smell. <laughs> Do you? What? <laughs> um, I shit my pants one time in preschool. A girl, a lady, helped me, and she was so sweet, and I never forgot her. And then when I was, and then later in life, she died, and I was. <laughs> She died, and they were like, oh, Mrs. So-and-so died. And I was so sad, and people were so like, why is this little kid so sad about this woman dying? And she I couldn't tell ass. anybody that it's because she cleaned up my poopy pants. I was just like, we, we had a connection. <laughs> she helped me in the time of need. Everyone was pointing and laughing, and that she was, was a sweet angel. She was so nice. But yeah, I'm not a big, uh, my roommate shits my pants. One time he was wearing my pants and he <laughs> he was like obsessed with these overalls. So I was just like, you can wear them as much as you want. And then he farted one day and was like, and I was like, did you shit your pants? And I was like, fuck, did you shit my pants? <laughs> Do you wear them now? No, nope, they're his forever. I hope he burned them. <laughs> he should buy you a steak dinner for that. He should. Yeah. I agree. You shit in my pants. You owe me a steak. I found him the other Grass night sleeping in bitch. my bed. And I thought, I, got, I came home and I was like, what the fuck, who's in my bed? And he's my best friend. And he turned and I was like, oh my God, it's just you, thank God. But then I saw that there was somebody next to him and I was like, bitch, if you have a girl in this bed with you, I will end you both. He has his own bedroom, he has a bedroom. And then I looked and the thing that was next to him was he was snuggling with my teddy bear. And I was oh. like, you both can stay, I'll yeah. go sleep outside. Yeah. <laughs> and she's adorable. It's funny how you go, I'll kill you. Like, oh, that's so sweet. So fast, so fast. <laughs> So you pooped your pants and she cleaned it up? She cleaned it up. And you're in kindergarten? 
I think it might have. Yeah, I think it had to be kinder. It was. I was doing after school, so it had to be kin. You never. Sh- you never shit with some lumber on your arm or something. No, I'm a constipator. Mm. I will. I haven't shit for four days since being here. I'm full of poop. Oh, girl, <laughs> we gotta get you some castor oil. I can. It hurts my belly. I just have to be not stressed out. I gotta eat the athletic greens. Yeah, I got some tricks. I struggle with that too. Right? Did you have a lot of antibiotics as a kid? Yes. It fucks up your natural gut biome and we we struggle with poopy loopies after that so it happened to my poopy. sister she saw a shaman down the way he'll take your pulse and tell you about your childhood it's fantastic jesus he'll give you uh, <laughs> minerals and compounds it's all nature it's all it's all nutrition it's get, wow. heal with food fuck you pharma i'm trying to heal with food it is hard though on the road boy howdy um yeah 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 that's it do i got any poopy stories No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess I'll just share this again. No, I already did that. My cat threw up on a girl's boxers, and I thought she shit the boxers, but it was just a cat turd, and it was so cute. Wow. Um, Wait, oh, it was a little. I just said that. Any furry more poops? turd? Anybody pooping the poop? What happened there? <laughs> what happened there, Craig? Um, yeah, that's it. We're done, man. And I just, yeah, just love you and love your hustle. You're so fucking funny. Happy Thank to you. share you JFL uh, graduating class with you. So good. And uh, yeah, this comes out next week, and we'll plug all your social medias and your tour and all that. Hell yeah. And and yeah, nothing but love, peace and love, baby. Come down anytime. Yes. I'll, I'll send you Thank apartments. You, Move down here. <laughs> Sublease. That's it. Community service. Namaste. I love you all. Stay up. <laughs> Don't let the devil win. Go to nature. Eat organic. Fuck the feds. Yeah. Yeah.